Imagine preparing to move to a foreign country, a country where you only know one person, and a country where, after years of war, you're going to start a whole new life. Sixty years ago, thousands of women from around the world did just that. They came to Canada after World War II. They came to begin again with their new husbands who fought overseas. And this weekend, more than a hundred of those women are gathering in Saskatoon to celebrate sixty years and more as war brides. Gwen Needham is one of those women. She moved to Saskatchewan back in 1946, and that very year, the BBC spoke to her about her move. Well, we found that interview from the BBC archives. Now, up at Liverpool's Princess Dock on Tuesday, a group of women and children looked towards the west to the gales of the Atlantic to Canada, and they had little time to remember the troubles of the Britain they were leaving. The Mauritania stood ready to sail with its contingent of wives and children of Canadian servicemen. Well prepared for a rough crossing, they sat in the dining saloon of the great ship, having lunch before sailing time. And in the midst of the excitement, two of these Canadian service wives talked to Radio News Reel observer Sandy Williamson. Now, first of all, at this table we have a lady who I'm going to ask her name now. What's her name? Gwen Needham. And、um, where do you come from? Midlands, Sussex. Down in Sussex, in the、yes. south. And where are you going to on the other side? Saskatchewan, proud Saskatchewan. That's a long way in, isn't it? Yes. In the wild west. And what does your husband do out there? Farming. I see. And、um, when did you last see him? When did he leave this side? In September. And seventeenth, he went over on the Louis Pasteur. I see. Has he been doing much yet? Yes, he's been out four months now. I see. What did he? What did he serve when he was over this side? He was in England for five years. Well, you know, four years, and then he went to France, Belgium, and Holland, and Germany, and then he came back to England and was repatriated to Canada. I see. Well, now、um, this message will probably reach Canada before you do. So, have you got any message you'd like to send to the folks、yes. over there? Hello, everyone. I'm longing to see you all, and especially you, Tom. <laughs> That's Gwen Needham, a war bride, interviewed by the BBC back in 1946, and、uh, right from the BBC archives. Gwen lived in Saskatchewan for many years before moving to Quesnel, BC, and in fact, she's coming to the reunion this weekend. And we've reached her. We have her on the line right now. Hello, Ms. Needham. Hello. My gosh, I sounded English. You did. You you don't quite sound that English anymore. No, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. What was it like for you to listen to that interview just now? Well, it was quite exciting, but I could hardly believe I ever spoke that way. <laughs> <laughs> you remember doing it? Yes. Oh, how anyway, did you how did you feel back then, moving halfway around the world? You sounded excited in that clip, but how did you really feel? Oh, I felt wonderful. I I just idolized my husband and couldn't wait to be with him. And what did you think Saskatchewan was going to be like? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you. I had to go. I was I was expecting our first baby, and we had to go to to Weyburn to find a doctor, and、uh, that was a thirty mile trip from where Froud was. And I can remember thinking, "Oh, that'll be great!" But by golly, we went down the highway for about thirty miles. I don't think we even went over a molehill, <laughs> and there were no trees. <laughs> It was flat. <laughs> a bit of a change from home. Oh, that's for sure. How was it elsewise when you when you moved here? Was it easy to fit in? Oh yes, I was very fortunate. I went into a great family and was made quite a fuss of. Little town of Froud. There was another war bride that came there, but she's since passed away. So were, we, I wasn't quite alone. And certainly, there was lots of warmth and acceptance of war brides coming back to Canada. Oh yes, people were wonderful.、Uh, the the funniest part I found was showers. We don't have showers in England, you know, like where they give bridal parties. Right. And my mother-in-law kept saying that it was snow everywhere, and of course, she kept looking out and saying, because we were going into Froud on a sleigh, <laughs> and she kept saying. It's going to shower, I'm sure, you know, and I'm thinking, what's wrong with this lady? <laughs> and she was taking you to <laughs> the shower. She tried to hint to me that there was going to be a shower. <laughs> so of course, when I got there, I went into a、uh, one of the halls there, and a、uh, whole surround of people. But they were all farmers, mostly farmers' wives, and so they were very, very nice to me, all of them. They were well, a great bunch. It must have been wonderful learning about the differences between Canada and Great Britain. That's for sure. And you say you idolized your husband, Tom. Yes, I did. What did he do? He 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 went to un. We went to university. 
he went to university for four years after he w- had been home six months. And we lived in Saskatoon for the four years, and then he got it. He worked with the got a job with the the uh, well. What when he first left school, he was did worked with the Quaker Oats Company, and uh, then he got the job with the Department of Labor as an inspector for wages and hours, and eventually became the director for Saskatchewan. So we really had a great life. We were very very fortunate. And he's not with you anymore? No. Unfortunately, he passed away on the 30th of September, 2004. We went out to Barkerville, and he, he slipped and trying to save himself from falling, running sideways, and went over a four-and-a-half-foot drop oh. and passed away from his injuries nine days later. But That's that, tragic. It is tragic. You you met a number of other war brides when you came here, mm-hmm. and how did that affect you when you were, uh, you know, settling down with Tom uh, back in the day and, and meeting with these other people who had had similar experiences? How was that? It was very interesting. The only thing was it was rather upsetting because, uh, you know, being together, you got a bit homesick and and sort of wondered whether this was a good thing to be meeting this way or not. Mm-hmm because a lot of the girls were homesick. I was homesick, too, but I never let anyone know about it. I I had my cries on my own. <laughs> really? Yes. What were you homesick for? Like, what did you miss most? Oh, my family. Um, my, I had uh, a sister and three brothers, and I was raised on a farm, so we were always quite close together, you know. But that's about all. But I think the fact that it wasn't the loneliness the fact that you couldn't afford to ever go home, and it was 10 years, I think, before I, Tom ever managed to scratch up enough money to send me home. And you did get to go home? Yes. Mm-hmm. Were they ever to come o- able to come over and see this new home that you had made and the new life you'd made in Canada? Not till later. After my father passed away, then my mother came out and spent a year with us. Which what, is, what did she think of Saskatchewan? Well, she thought it was wonderful. Really? In, fact, in fact, when we lived in that time, we were living in Prince Albert, and, I, and, and this is hard to believe that it actually went to 50 below one day, and Mum said, I have to go out in this. So she put on a, one of those mounty hats and a big fur coat and walked around the block <laughs> so she could go home and brag about it. <laughs> what a wonderful, intrepid British person. Yes. <laughs> oh, Ms. Needham, tell me, would you do it all over again? Oh, definitely. Yes, definitely. It's been it's been fantastic talking to you, and I'm so glad we could track you down and uh, play the tape of you from 1946. Uh, what an amazing time! Oh, that was wonderful. I'm so appreciative too of you doing that. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for talking to us, and okay. have a good time at the reunion. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye for now. Gwen Needham and Gwen moved to Froud, Saskatchewan, 60 years ago as a war bride, and although she lives in Quinell, B.C.